Brisbane is a cultural potluck filled with aspiring artists and creatives. Over the years, Brisbane Council has developed our cultural identity and showcased it through hundreds of cultural hubs, art exhibitions and events riddled throughout the city. Visit Brisbane claims Fortitude Valley and West End are go-to destinations for local live gigs and DJs. Despite this, many local artists are still scraping the bottom of the bowl as not enough people avidly go to see them perform. We've gone to find out what the public really thinks of local music. So, um, how many local bands do you know of? Like local Brisbane bands? Yeah. Oh, I don't even think I can name, name one. None. None. Yeah, not, not a lot actually. Yeah. yeah? I would not know any of them. Really? No, they're not highly advertised or anything around Brisbane, so. Do you consider the people performing at gigs to be doing it for work or more of a hobby? When I see them performing at gigs, like, it seems like they want to make it their focus, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that they've got something else on the side, like, like a, some part-time work just to support them. Because it's like most of the people I've talked to, like, they can't just do music. Like, it's not a viable full-time position anymore. To further understand the opposite side of the situation, we visited Jess Keeble, an aspiring artist and current QUT student, to hear her opinions on aspiring local artists. Let me start with asking, uh, what brought about your passion for music? Well, I guess I've um, been doing music for a very long time and from such a young age, so it's basically the only thing I'm good at. Nice. Okay. Um, were there any difficulties that you've faced or you are facing within the local music industry and is it affecting other local musicians too? A lot of people's perceptions are that it's just a hobby and you do it on the side but you still have that regular job but no you have the regular job because this job doesn't pay off because of the general public's perception so yeah it's, it's a very very bad kind of cycle I guess and I guess that's why a lot of musicians sometimes just die off because um, because they can't support themselves just on music that's really really sad have you gone to see any local artists recently? And if so, what was your experience on that? I saw um, a local artist at Victory, but I didn't know their name because I couldn't remember it. But it was pretty good, yeah. Yeah, for sure, yeah. But usually I'm like the kind of person who gets told about bands. Like, I, I don't find them myself pretty easily. Like, but, you know, I, it's easy to get passionate about bands if I like them. You heard of Triple J Radio? Yes. So what they do, they have a competition called Triple J Unearthed. And what they do is they support local artists and they have whole competitions and the winner actually gets to perform at Splendour. Have you heard of Splendour? Yes. Yeah. So do you think that what they're doing by supporting I think that's a very they're... good idea. Yeah. It would very, it'd take them into the limelight and they could make it their full-time job. So finally, do you have any last messages for aspiring local artists and to the general public? I guess if you're a local artist, then just keep doing what you're doing. Um, make connections, network, um, record, get your music out there, put it on Triple J, put it on YouTube, put it on your Facebook page, just keep um, social media traffic, keep it going, try and get something out there because if you don't then it's never going to be heard. And I guess to the general public I would say support your local band, support your local artists and if they're your kids, support them too because you know they're going to need all the help they can get trying to climb from the bottom to the top. So. You know, get out there and support your local bands as much as you can because they're the new talent. They'll they'll be rotating through soon. So, yeah.